Today, for a change, we're going to do roast chicken. And we're going to do roast chicken with some vegetables accompanying. I'm going to do some roast potatoes. And how I do my roast potatoes is pre-boil them for about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. I then let them steam and I put a bit of turmeric on the top, which means that it makes them a little bit more golden. And I put them in the oven with the chicken. So I'm going to go, without further ado, I'm going to go straight to the hob and I'm going to go through the processes that I go through. Right, so first of all I'm going to prepare the chicken. Now quite often chickens come roast in the bag. I don't believe in roasting in the bag because I like a nice crispy top. I've never believed in roasting in the bag. It's easy for those people who don't want to clean their ovens of course. So I just prepare the chicken by undoing the string, getting rid of all the bits. There's no giblets in this one, a little bit of fat. Get out. Now the legs have been prepared, I'm not going to do anything about those, but I am going to take the bits of the wing off, the, just the top bit of the wing. Normally I break a bit of the leg off and I take the tops of the wing off. That. Be careful with chicken, it's can have bacteria in it, you just have to be very careful, wash your hands and make sure it's ready. Now I'm going to separate the skin at the top because one of my tricks is to put a couple of bay leaves under the under the um, under the skin. Prepared these right bay leaves. I have got some sage and onion stuffing, but I will recommend if you use stuffing, you actually cook it separately. You don't put it in the chicken because it makes it take longer, and it it's just a, a good idea to do it separately. Right. Okay. So the chicken's ready. I'm going to stick it in a roasting pan. Now, I'm going to put some pepper over the top. Some salt. And I'm going to use some duck fat. It's actually goose fat. And I'll also use olive oil. Now I always collect this afterwards and pour it back into the jar so I don't like wasting it. Okay, but there's that. Put some olive oil on the top. I will put some more herbs in as I go, but the first thing is because I'm running late to get it in the oven. Now I'm get, it's going to go into a, a fan oven. preheated, although I probably would have done. Okay, we're now going to do it at, 100, at uh, 200 degrees centigrade. I'm going to do it approximately for an hour and a half, hour and a half, but I will check it. I'll check it, I'll, I'll check it through the looking through the glass in the door, and I'll also bring it out and check it. Now I'll give it half hour, I'm just now going to prepare the potatoes, so I'll stick the potatoes in. So I'll come back in a minute. Now okay, you see this very well, but I've pre-boiled the potatoes for about 10 minutes just to soften them a little bit. You don't have to do it, but I tend to do it when I've got time. I'm now going to uh, cover them with turmeric, which is a, I can get it out of the jar. Turmeric, ground turmeric. Oh. I wonder if I can get it out of the new, new jar. Okay, okay, right, here we go. <laughs> See, we only, we only have one go here when we do it. So we've got turmeric, it gives it a golden colour. I'm now going to just put the top on and let it steam for a bit before I put it in the oven with the chicken. Right, on the Crazy Chef channel, we do tend to have fun 
and tend to have fun and we just do one take so we don't have multiple takes so if it's wrong it's wrong at least you can see I either can cook or I can't cook so I'm going to take the chicken out of the oven and, uh, you know, the glasses have got steamed up Right. Okay, I'm just gonna get a knife down the leg. Well, cut it off, so a knife down the leg to get. But look at that, lovely, 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 lovely. I'm gonna baste it a little bit. You probably can't see me too well. I'm just gonna baste it over. Nice chicken and. That's alright, it's not stuck. Make sure it's not stuck. It is stuck, never mind. Now we're going to put potatoes in around the edge. Um, a little bit of sage and onion stuffing balls I'm just going to put on top just, just a little bit again I use whatever I've got in the larder and just add a little bit so I thought I'd use it up I'm now going to just quickly put a little bit of olive oil over the potatoes this is why I don't like doing it in the bag it's too soft in the bag I like a nice crisp top sometimes I might stick a little bit of uh, foil over the top to protect the breast but I don't tend to do that these days. Right, a bit of sage. All this will go into the gravy. I've made the gravy, but all the gravy will be done in this. A little bit of luck. Right, okay, there we go. A bit of that, a bit of rosemary. Bit of thyme. Whatever herbs you use is really personal choice. I just do it just for a bit of flavour. Right, now I'm going to put all that back in the oven for about another hour. Had about half an hour. It's a large chicken. Can't remember what the weight was, but okay, that's done. I'm now going to prepare the vegetables. I'll come back in a minute. The back, I'm doing the gravy. So you could make a good Sunday lunch and doing the gravy. Now I use two chicken oxo cubes because we're having chicken. Two chicken oxo cubes. Two chicken nor cubes. Um, two teaspoons full of uh, corn flour just put in a bit of water to solidify it then poured in that uh, provides a thickening agent and I put in I don't know some white wine I've, I've actually put in actually put in in Rioja just to give it a bit of white wine flavour that will be ready in a bit I've also got some vegetables, some cabbage, some carrots, some onion and some pepper and I've got some Yorkshire puddings to put in as well. So although it's the object of the exercise to show how I do my roast chicken, I'm obviously doing a roast chicken Sunday dinner. So, when we're a little bit more near the mark, I'll um, start again. Okay, there we are. Got some gravy. We've got roast potatoes, which I initially did with a bit of turmeric to make it golden. They're that lovely. Got some a bit of sage and onion, which I had over. And look that lovely chicken. It's nice and moist. And I've got some Yorkshire pudding. So that's it, all done. Thank you.